So I filmed an interview with Cooley, who is one of the three people that put on today's event. Flavor stands for Florida Variety, F-L-A-V-A-R. So that's why, that's the acronym. Today we are heading to their annual event, No Shade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to go. There's going to be so many artists, vendors, musicians, DJs, and I can't wait to see everyone and talk to people and, you know, buy things <laughs> and probably even sip on some of their drinks. So come along with my friends, Gina and I, recording and documenting the DJs, vendors, artists, and musicians included. Without them, this would not be possible. So big shout out to everyone. And I hope that you guys get to see your faces on this video and you enjoy today's interview with Cooley who is representing Flavors. I'm ready. So introduce yourself to me. My name is Cooley. I am part owner of Flavor Florida Variety. We're a media and event company based in South Florida. What do you do specifically? I wear many hats. I handle marketing, venue scouting. I have two other great partners by the name of uh, DW. I know him by DJ D-Dubs. He's a phenomenal local DJ. Also, uh, Jamar Mitchell. As of now, there's uh, three rocking in here, trying to bring creative events to the Palm Beach region. How long have you guys been doing this? For the better half of six to seven years. We've done events in Miami for Art Basel called The Seed. Uh, we've done A3C in Atlanta, Georgia. We've done um, a lot of different activations in that Palm Beach region. We mainly focus within the arts. For another side of Palm Beach that doesn't usually get the spotlight it deserves. Usually here, oh, we passed West Palm to get to Orlando. We passed Palm Beach to get to Broward in Miami. So nobody usually gives us love and we usually don't, we don't always tend to have uh, eclectic creative events, especially for our people, you know, people within the arts, uh, especially uh, people with uh, people of color also. We wanted to provide that platform. It shouldn't only be Miami or Broward. We just seen such a lack of voice or our life style from the standpoint of music, art, fashion, things like that. We felt like there's not enough events that represent those things in the Palm Beach region a lot. It's usually uh, super hood or super white, you know? So there's really no median or just uh, in between. I feel like we have phenomenal artists from different types of mediums. But why can't we do that here? So, you know, we started with our first event called Scene. And Scene was a photography exhibit slash party. We featured different local photographers, primarily in Palm Beach. Of course, we kind of, you know, reached out to the Miami area too, but majority of our photographers that we featured was uh, native Palm Beach. And a lot of them, catapulted, you know, and got to work with the likes of LeBron James to YG to a lot of different phenomenal talents around the world. So from there, we, you know, we went into different types of events with community representatives from our movie nights and things like that. But our goal is to get people out there and come together and just, you know, have a fun, comfortable, positive vibe, you know, and be yourself. If you could describe Flavors and three words. I know it's hard. Uh, first word, Florida. As fuck. So that's that's one. Second, community. Third, I would say. Hmm. Make it good. Make it good. Make it good. Make it good. That's a, that's pressure. Make it good. Uh, here it is. Flavor. Summed up in three words. Florida. Hashtag as fuck community and inclusiveness. We want to make sure everybody is accepted. We really love our community and uh, we want to showcase the great state of Florida and what we have to offer here, you know? Not only alligators in Disneyland, Disney World. In Miami. In Miami, yeah, yeah, don't forget <laughs> about Miami now. Well, our premier event is uh, No Shade. That's our annual event that we hold in Palm Beach. That event is 
it's a plethora of a lot of different things. The visual activation is all in one. So from scene, which is our photography artist exhibition, we have an artist alley, feature artists, local artists uh, from Palm Beach, Broward, and Miami, sometimes depending on Orlando. We also have Bender Alley where we support different local small businesses and give them opportunity to sell to their people but uh, also get some um, awareness for their, like brand awareness for their uh, their company. So that's, that's another thing. Uh, and then lastly, we showcase our skills. So we have a phenomenal collective of uh, DJs from DJ Judy, DJ James Underwood. Uh, need I say more? I James Underwood is one of the best DJs out here. I feel like this mix is never inspired. Then we have DJ Jones Drew. He's another DJ who started with us for a long time. James also, but been with us for quite a long time. And of course, uh, my partner in crime, DJ D-Dubs. Uh, and we also like to feature local artists. We play a mixture of everything. It's so funny. That's uh, one of our DJs who we love, DJ Judy. She is a very uh, beautiful soul when it comes down to the style of music. She's very free which we love and she stays within the parameters but also like Tess's boundaries also James Underwood all of our DJs they love testing boundaries because yes audience is predominantly black and brown but doesn't mean that we don't like a little paramour or Ravana you know it's different it's so funny how um, our DJs are so uh, out the box they color outside the line so much and still find ways to make it look beautiful, you know? And it introduces a lot of different vibes to our audience anywhere else, you know? Probably won't get a Paramore Nirvana slash Voice to Men mixed with Sade is like mixed in any other club, you know? So. That sounds like my playlist now. So <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to go to your event. <laughs> I feel like we have some of the best DJs in the world. A lot of these larger festivals don't give opportunity to local artists, especially within the areas that they join those festivals, uh, to open up for some of these headline acts. Uh, so our big thing is what we're trying to grow into. We're not there yet, but we're growing into a space where we could then work with different labels, work with different larger acts, and book them to come to our events and have local acts open up for them, you know? To a space where they could build relationships with those artists, possibly work with them in the near future. And in addition, they have that on their resume. Say I opened up for XYZ, Savannah Christina, or Amindi, or Manny Wells, or things like that, uh, that they could, you know, start gaining a little bit more of a repertoire. So that's one of our biggest things too, is to give our great artists a platform to perform on. Oh, we're very particular to who we have open. We usually been in the background stalking off like those talents for a while. So we, we pride ourselves in our talent that we have on stage. Yeah, vendors also is a very particular process that we go through, especially with the, if it matches our brand, uh, when it comes down to mixed medium artists from painters to like acrylic photographers and things like that. We tend to steer more towards people of color, Hispanic, Black, Asian, all, you know, we want to give them a platform to be able to exhibit their work and you know, always get a chance to be able to exhibit at a gallery or have enough money to rent out a gallery to be able to exhibit their work. So, uh, like, giving uh, our people opportunity, especially if they're nice. If they fired and definitely won't give you a chance. You could be, like, one of the best photographers. You won't even get a chance so because you didn't have some of those accreditations from those schools or whatever. So you want to be that platform that it doesn't matter where your background, where you came from. If you're good, you're good. And we want to give you opportunity. Yeah, housing a platform where people could be able to feel like they're a part of something, you know, and also see themselves within that platform, you know. Uh, I think that's one of, one of the reasons why uh, we become so successful because a lot of people feel that they're a part of our growth and they feel like they can see a part of themselves uh, within the brand or just them being reflected within the brand. From when you first
first started six years ago? Six, seven years ago. Six, yeah. seven years ago. And now, how much has changed? How much has grown? Taxes? I'm joking. <laughs> uh, but honestly, just seeing just the reception from our people, our cult following growing, our fans that we've seen from day one still there rocking if they haven't moved out the stage or but they're they're coming always back with the next one and seeing new faces which like kind of surprises us because we started with intentions of just like doing it for our core group then you know we wanted to grow it and we didn't know it was gonna start going to the speed you know but Everything takes time, and um, we are very grateful for the people who support us. We wouldn't do it if it wasn't for our core attendees, our patrons, our people. They, they're part of the brand more than us. You know, so we're definitely taken back when we see the growth, inviting atmosphere where you could be anybody, white, black, Spanish, no matter who you are. Uh, what religion, whatever, just come and just feel safe, comfortable, and free to express yourself. Their family, they're at this one, two, or three hours of their day that they can feel just like at ease, feel loved, and feel comfortable. Feel like they're part of something bigger than them. For every type of person, it's very important. You know, you need a space that you could call your own and that you could definitely be uh, yourself in. You know, but we're like a place that you have to stop by and explore to if you want any sauce or you want anything. You know, I feel like I, we could take our DJs anywhere from Brooklyn to California to Texas. Miami, and we we'll crush it. Yeah. yeah, it creates the atmosphere and the vibe. If someone is just, you could tell how someone's day is going by how they spinning, you know? I think our DJs are the best and they fight the vibe. And I feel that's why a lot of our uh, patrons are comfortable and know what they're, what to expect from comfortable. We do 21 and up for our events, you know, because we like using explicit music. <laughs> Okay, we don't like censoring our expression, so to speak, you know, how we express ourselves. So that being said, we like to keep it at 21 and up. But doesn't, um, we have events where it's all ages, like our movie night. Yeah, we like featuring black folk classics. We have an event that we're looking to bring back uh, probably late this quarter, early next, called Flavor Flicks. When we feature different cult classics from we did Belly, we did Poetic Justice, we've done countless other movies. So uh, we're just trying to add some seasoning to a lot of the stuff. You know, it's okay to have a live show, but let's add, let's add some seasoning to it, make it a little different. You know, it's, it's very important to experience different cultures and different back and backgrounds and ethnicities because. You never know what you will fall in love with. Like, I'm learning that, you know? I have friends from all shapes and creeds and uh, ethnicities, backgrounds, and I feel like that makes me more open and well-rounded person. Helps us create these events. Networking is nine-tenths of uh, how we became who we are, you know? It's very important to put yourself out there, but to also learn about things that um, you didn't you didn't know about from different areas of different like from different business types and from just different backgrounds of different types of people and it's great to even practice and get more well-rounded with uh, communicating with people you know and knowing how to uh, express yourself and sell yourself and not come off as if it's a pitch deck you know so it's very good to go to a lot of these open mics, these pop-ups and stuff, and just show faith because if you don't, who's gonna do it for you, you know? So it's definitely very important to network if you're trying to build your brand. Definitely like a lot of our vendors, a lot of our artists, the DJs, people who come to our events or who we partner up on our events are from networking. We like uh, promoting our events organically a lot of the times, depending on the type of event. Uh, word of mouth is very important, but 
Our biggest platform is what we gain the most notoriety from is our Instagram. Instagram is where we're able to be free, be creative, try different things, you know? We're still trying to get like into the new wave of the TikToks and stuff like that, but you know, we're still trying to get our toes wet, but we love, uh, we don't love the algorithm all the time, but we do like how we're able to be creative on it. The group effort, you know, and the talent that we have in our videos are all local. The majority of them are all local. Uh, some of them don't even model or that they just be, you know, I'm down to do a video and then we're able to, you know, collaborate and make something happen. You know, I always like even just because you're a talent doesn't mean that you don't have any. Uh, creative power. So I always like to go back and forth with talent and try to, you know, get some of their input to input in the video. So. At the end of the day, it's just the brainstorming and never know what can come out of it. Exactly. You have to have like a happy attitude to illuminate that. Yeah. How do you stay mentally healthy? Personally, I shut it off sometimes. I have to shut off the bustle and craziness that comes with running a business is not always just partying and having a good time. It's a lot of, like I said, taxes and planning and meetings and things like that. So uh, I learned, my wife tells me this, you gotta shut it off sometimes, you know? So I, I, it's hard for me because this is our baby, uh, but, um, I definitely try to find time to shut it off. And I think for our events, I feel like our event provides that kill switch for a lot of, of our attendees. Like, you know, a lot of them have hard, stressful jobs from attorneys to contractors to artists and all types of different backgrounds uh, and you know, job titles. And we hear a lot of the times they come to hit that kill switch and just be able to be themselves and hang out or feel like they have to look over their shoulder or things like that. So as much as I need to shut it off, I feel like we're also doing a service to our attendees and patrons to help them shut off too. So yeah. How do I shut it off? Uh, movies. I'm a big movie guy and music guy. I collect records collecting different records. I like going to Rust and Wax, which is a local vinyl store uh, at Industry Alley. And I like to uh, hang out with my wife a lot. I'm pretty, pretty much of a homebody when I'm not working <laughs> towards uh, our dream. And um, just movies, just watching movies and shows. I'm watching uh, House of Dragons right now, Laura. That show is freaking badass. Love that show. I'm pretty boring when it comes down to my shut off, but that's just me. I like just chilling. You know, that's what a shut off is, though. Right? It's just chilling. Chilling, <laughs> right? It's not really too much into it. Yeah. Just freestyle. Okay. First off, I want to just thank you for this opportunity. I want to shout out to my partners, the Doves, Jamar Mitchell, Fritz, my wife. Love you, babe. And all the people that helps out uh, and make flavor, flavor. Definitely want to say, check out our Instagram at FLA.VARS on all platforms. You know, for FLA by FLA flavor. So hope to see y'all soon. So if you guys like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I need subscribers now <laughs> also make sure you don't miss out on all the links to my instagram along with flavors instagrams and different platforms you want to go check out their events they have events every last sunday of every month so definitely give them a follow and i hope to see you guys at one of their events